Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. We're going to find out what's in our uh, wait, what next sectors we were. An abandoned sector, yes. Zoltan Homeworld. Um, we are in no. Well, I mean, we, could we get two Zoltan shields with our current rig? Versus the Lanius. Let's go to the abandoned sector and let's have a look. What we might find. Yes, yes, the yeah, Lanius. They've been through and they've emptied everything. Well, that's a really good option. So let's go south. There's more points down that way. Go for the more populated routes. Navigate the rich debris fields. Attempt to harvest some for yourself. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was on. Wow, those are, that's a pair of big guns. Um. This might sting. That's a single shot. And my shield's gonna come back up. Yes. And they've got twin shields. Alright. Looks like we'll be waiting for uh oh, rock plating kicked in, I think. Uh, a full set of swarm missiles to fire off and get rid of their shields. Thank you. Guns down if you please. And then fire on that to get their shields all the way down and stop them repairing them so that my crystal shard doesn't get through. Keep putting damage out. Triple shot missiles all landing nicely and clearing out our target. Good shooting gentlemen. Let's get the debris. That's a nice lot of scrap. Um, distress calls, no ship, but I will point two points into here and we now have level two of shields our ship is just that more or less likely to explode out from underneath us mm. keep going um slow as an attack by the Lanius. beg for assistance um yes it's not nice to have your plating attacked slugs probably deserve it most likely they will bugger off before we get a chance to ask them any questions but uh let's yeah your timing's off so yeah, all right. This should be an easy win for us. I don't think we'll need to use the missiles unless something goes here to do wrong. But we don't have an environmental, like an ion or a sensors or a hot, burning, fiery giant sun that causes any problems. So let's just pick these rather hapless little rock-eating people apart. You missed. Disappointing. I'm gonna leave the auto fire off for now because I don't want to end up misclicking and end up just unloading all our missiles at fast range. The thing about this thing is when it does fire quickly, it will fire quickly. So like this, dun dun dun. <laughs> Nicely done. So if I leave the auto fire on every seven seconds, this will spat one of our missiles off into the distance. You've got a lot of evasion. <laughs> Let's um try and quell that a little bit, shall we? Hopefully this will hit. Firing. Oh, good. That will make life a little easier. And. Bang! There we go. Contact the slugs. Oh, thank you very much. Protest and wind and complain and give you some supplies. So we now have an extra amount of cash. Alright, anything I particularly want to spend it on? Not really. Um, jumping to here. Hopefully we'll come across a store at some point and you start spending some of this cash. Um, no, I'm always going to be the hero. You've got anti-drone drone, a defensive drone, single shot laser, and a beam weapon. So you can't hurt me, but it might take me a while to nunk through your defenses. So let's see if you shoot this down or not. The answer is yes, you do shoot that down. Now, I should be able to overwhelm you with missiles. Got the wrong drone. Fine. Looks like we'll be sync firing these to try and minimize the uh, effects of getting it shot down. Because the thing about heavy crystals is they count as missiles, from the point of view. I think that may even be a level 2 drone. So. Wow, not a lot got through there. This might be a long and tough fight for us, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll say that. I mean, our crew are going to get plenty of experience points for defense and resist and all the rest of it, but uh, it might cost us an awful lot of missiles unless we get lucky. Firing. 
Also, what with them having two points of shields, this isn't even making any difference. So it's simply a case of just firing these off again and again and again. Hmm. I'm going to have a think between episodes, ladies and gentlemen, about whether or not it's actually worthwhile trying to continue this fight. Um, we ain't going to lose it, but it's simply a question of how many missiles it's going to cost us to win it. Um, and I'm just not that interested in spending all of them to do so. So I think we'll probably be leaving. Next episode, though. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a 5-Minute Burst of FDL, and I'm the Marmoset. Please remember to like and subscribe.